Former McKinsey chief Rajat Gupta, who was convicted of insider trading nearly seven years ago, is speaking out for the first time. Gupta never testified at his own trial for insider trading back in 2012, which centered around conversations that he had with Raj Rajaratnam while he was on the Goldman Sachs board. Now he shares his side of the story in his new book, Mind Without Fear. Andrew Ross Sorkin spoke to him recently in New York about his conviction, the testimony against him, made by then Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein, and a fateful turn of events that kept him on the bank's board even after he had planned to resign, which would have prevented all of this from happening. The fact that Lloyd was rehearsed for many, many hours and changed from his uh, deposition to his witness account, um, that's where it made, made a big difference. Like he kept saying, oh, it's my practice to cover financial results. But that board meeting in October had nothing to do with that. It had to do with 10% of the people being fired. What was your relationship like with Lloyd Blankfein? Because you talk about him at different points throughout the book. And I, I'm unclear, even now, how you ultimately feel about him. I uh, was brought into the Goldman board by Hank Paulson, who I knew for many, many years before. So I didn't know Lloyd very well from before. And you know I had an OK relationship with him. But um, it wasn't the same like Hank. One of the things I did not appreciate was you almost stepped down from the Goldman Sachs board before this ever happened. We had a board meeting where I tendered my resignation, and he gave me um, a gift of um, you know, two cufflinks that were from the Goldman founders. In fact, I'm wearing that cufflink today just for, here's the cufflink that has Goldman and Sachs portraits on it. And uh, so I accepted the cufflinks. Everything was done. Press announcement was drafted. Three days later, I'm in Europe, and they haven't yet released the press this thing. Then I get a call from John Bryan that said... Who's also on the board. Who's also on the board. He said, please reconsider your resignation because it's financial turmoil and Lehman is going to go bankrupt. We don't want one of our board members to be resigning. And he convinced me not to resign. And to my great regret that uh, if I had just stayed stuck with my resignation, none of this would have happened. I was always curious. Um, what did you think when Warren Buffett, when you heard that Warren Buffett was actually going to invest in the, in the company? I thought it was very shrewd on both Warren's part and Goldman's part. I mean, Goldman did need the sort of boost of confidence and, and uh, good housekeeping seal of, it just ensured that Goldman would be the last institution standing. You also seem to, to highlight the issue um, around the idea that, that Preet Bharara and the Justice Department didn't go after the big fish, meaning the executives from the banks in the aftermath of the financial crisis but was much more focused on uh, insider trading and other things. I found it quite extraordinary that we find banks billions of dollars, and yet somebody must have done that. I mean, they're admitting wrongdoing, right? And then if somebody must have done that wrongdoing inside, the, the human beings do that. And it doesn't automatically happen. And the buck should stop at the top. So. None of the top management in any of our banks did anything wrong. That's what one has to believe if, if you look at the results. Of, so they were not responsible for all the thing, suffering that happened to the common person in, 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 in the main street. And so his approach towards looking at insider trading, you think, was? I don't mind whatever his approach to insider trading. The issue is whether you know he was there when the financial crimes were done, when the financial crisis was there, certainly right after that. So his obligation, first task, would have been, this has been the most devastating thing for average America, right? So who are you going after? Not that he shouldn't go after <laughs> insider trading, I'm not saying that. But the priorities are misplaced if you can't get to the real culprits of the financial crisis. 
Do you think, knowing what you know, that there are culprits out there that were not prosecuted? For sure, for sure. Don't you think? This is this is this is this is one of the great questions of our time. Yeah, ten, how can it be? Years later. How can it be when you pay ten billions of dollars in fines, you admit to incorrect procedures, incorrect, you know, fraud, basically perpetrated on the American people, and say nobody did it. I just going to find some institutions.